Okay. Hello and um, good morning, uh, good afternoon, hello, whenever you're doing this video. Um, basically, all I'm going to talk about this video is just simple supporting uh, tactics, techniques, things you can do to kind of help out. I mean, granted, with the new dynamic use system, you might not get stuck with support anymore. But I mean, if you get stuck with support because it's your secondary role and you're kind of you're not so sure about it, um, <clears throat> um, hopefully some of these tips can kind of give you a, a guide or a guidance to help you out a little bit here. But um, so basically playing support, it, it seems like a really highly and boring position. Like, I, I understand that. Because um, you're, you're not the person getting kills. But, I mean, you may feel as if you aren't contributing much to the other team, or to our team, is by being a support. But, I mean, I'm a, I'm a support main. I mean, I'm not freaking diamond. I'm not anything like that. You know, just, uh, just simple support. I mean, two seasons ago, I went from... Bronze three to gold four just by playing a Morgana support and hey it works out for me and you know it's it's as simple as that you can learn learn one champion I mean if they pick it learn this backup champion just in case um you know and just like I'm talking like whether the ADC is like to admit it or not a majority of the time when they are doing really well in the lane they they like to the neglect the fact that the support got them where they needed to be in order to carry the game like I mean that's not the case like that's not always the case you know you have some of those those god tier ADCs that know what they're doing, or marksmen, sorry, if you want me to get uh, grammatically correct here for League of Legends. But, you know, they'll, they'll neglect the support, and basically, you know, I carried everybody, they did this, they did that, they're the best person, GG, you guys are welcome for the carry. You know, it's it's not like that. Because, like, my, my, my logic is behind every good ADC is a good support, and that's just the way it should be. Um, and, like, as for Season 6, you know, it's coming out... It, it it's came out, you know, it's live, it's active and everything. Like, I've noticed, basically, in this entire season right now, it's basically a tank meta. Um, yeah, it seems, uh... I don't know. Every time I go against a tank meta, they usually win, or it's a very difficult win. Because, you know, you got people like Poppy now with the rework, and, you know, I don't see a whole lot of Renekton's anymore, but, you know, Nasus is becoming a support, Trundle's becoming a support, and you got just tanks running around everywhere and it's difficult to win those games because nobody's gonna build the uh the armor pen and there's not enough armor pen or magic pen i mean like i said that's not the case all the time but the tank meta is definitely what season six is currently at this point in time um i this season i found myself just playing blitzcrank i went eight and two in my uh placements and i got placed in bronze one um by just playing basically blitzcrank the only two games that i lost were when i played uh jana and i played nami um like as of right now I have I've got sixteen wins and nine losses in ranked. And I just been playing support. Nothing but support. Blitzcrank support right now is really working out for me. You know, and so so I guess basically, you know, I guess I'm gonna give you some tips. I mean this is I'm gonna base this around Blitzcrank because that's who I'm playing right now, but I mean it could work for everybody, you just gotta find that play style. So I mean, basically, early on if they're gonna wanna push you under your turret, okay, that's great. Because for you as Blitzcrank, if you're level 2, if you can land that grab underneath the turret without a whole lot of minions being there, the enemy minions, you get the grab, knock them up, ADC can do some damage, and then the turret will do some work. I mean, if you don't kill them, that's fine. At least maybe you got a flash, maybe you got the ADC's heal and flash, two two different summoners, spells down bot lane, and maybe the support came in, he got flashed, he had to flash out too. So, I mean... Even if you don't get the kill by doing that, I mean you're still gonna be you're still gonna be coming off ahead because that means your jungler can come in. It's gonna be an easier gank for him when it comes down to the bot lane. Um, so it, I like to do an early invade with Blitzcrank. Um, if I let's say for instance I'm playing blue side, we'll go red side. Um, I will go ahead and I'll quickly get over there and I will ward Gromp and I'll have somebody ward the tri bush for me. Um, even if the team doesn't want to stay there, I'll kind of sit back and just wait. And then once the jungler hits that Gromp, I'm gonna pull that Gromp out of there so he resets. Or Krug's vice versa. I'll pull the big Krug out of there, then the Krug's going to reset. That's going to put the bottom lane, the enemy bot lane, behind a little bit. Because if, they, if that, their jungler needs a leash, um, that's going to keep them out of lane for maybe like 5, 6 CS. And then you can get ahead of them a little bit there. And then you got the presence and you got the level advantage on them early off. Um, so first things first, obviously, you want to you wanna make sure you keep up good vision in the bot lane. Usually on my first back, I will get a, I'll get my sight stone. If I can, I'll get boots. And a pink ward, you know, uh, sight stone for sure though. 
just just for the sheer fact is you need that vision down bot lane, especially early on, because you don't know who's going to come in, what their jungler's like. I mean, it's the same thing. It's it's always been that way, and I'm not sitting here preaching to the choir by any means. Um, so, yeah, just wards. What I like to do is I will buy the pink ward, place in whichever side I'm on. If I'm red side, I'll put it in the tri. If I'm blue side, I'll put it in our tri bush, because that way, if somebody tries taking it, I can stop them from taking it. And it's going to stay there for a little bit longer than if it were to be in the river bush. Um, and then I'll put one in River Bush, just a standard ward, one by Dragon, and I'll put one down depending on which side we're on. For Red Side, I'll put it by their, by the, uh, by the Red Path, and if they're on, uh, Blue Side, I'll put it by the Blue Path, whatnot. Um, if I'm, if I'm rambling on here, I'm sorry, guys, but, um, second, know your fight and when you can take it. Uh, if you're playing Blitzcrank, pull only when you know you will get a kill or at least a summoner spell and stick with your ADC, let him know that you're going to be leaving the lane to go ward. So that way he isn't overextended and then get killed and then leaving him to blame you for his lack of game sense. I mean, it happens all too many times. You go out to go ward or you see a support go out to go ward, the ADC dies, and then either if it's an all chat or on your team and you're not playing down bot lane, the ADC is raging one way or another. Um, so just let your let your ADC know just by pinging uh, or type say warding. You know, give him the idea so that way he doesn't overextend too far and then get killed. Um, so you got you got that aspect. I mean, team fights pretty much the same thing as what I just said. But you wanna you'll you'll be with your full group obviously, and always try to make sure you keep keep the enemy team off your ADC. Like just by peeling, you always want to peel for your ADC as much as you can. And even if you hate your ADC, peel for him because he might be your saving grace to end game and to win the game. And don't don't ever forget that your your role is important as just any other lane. You're as important as the mid laner, is as far you're important as the top, jungle, and ADC. You know, bot lane, I don't want to say that the support's the most important role down there, but it's it's a little bit more important early game than being the ADC. It it that's just that's just my opinion. And it's, like I said, it's not biased because I'm a support main, but I personally think that support bot lane is the most important role early game. And, like I said, I know this is a broad spectrum of information based around Blitzcrank. However, I do play John, Nami, Thresh, Karma, Tom Kench, Trundle, and Morgana. Each one has their own play style. You just need to find yours and never tell yourself that the support role is pointless and stupid. Have fun. I hope that this helped. However, it doesn't, I apologize for wasting your time. And like I said, just keep at it. Um, if you're if you're struggling with support, you mean talk to some of your friends that on your friends list that are support mains. Talk to people that know how to support or have done it and understand it. And you know you could watch some of the guys in the LCS. You could watch somebody streaming. That's a support main. Just just watch. Just kind of get an idea. Um, and you can just learn things from that. I mean, you never like it's it's it goes back to the old saying that um, you can fail a hundred times to get it right. But you just learned a hundred different ways of what not to do. So I mean, just keep at it, stick with it, and I think you'll, you guys will be flourishing as supports in no time if that's if that's what your heart is set at. So, all right, thanks, guys.